Hepatitis A is a picornavirus, so a lot of what we're going to cover, we already covered in the picornavirus overview video, so we'll hit the ground running. Let's set our scene here at the Open Range Zoo. When we hear the word hepatitis, it sounds a lot like hepatitis, so we'll use hippos to illustrate everything we want to remember about the virus. Like we've already mentioned in the overview video, as a picornavirus, hepatitis A is an RNA virus, hence the yellow warm colours. More specifically, it's a positive sense RNA virus, and we have it set in a daytime scene for positive sense. Here we have a hippo drawn in the background, and on his ankle there is a tag reading A for hepatitis A, or as we like to say, hippotitis A. We even have a baby hippo way in the back as its pico counterpart. Hepatitis, as you may have guessed, affects the hepatic system, the liver. So we have a brown spot drawn over the hippos that are shaped like the liver to help us remember that. A huge thing about hepatitis A is that it's acid stable, just like most of the other picornaviruses. This contributes to its transmission since it is transmitted fecal orally. This makes sense, the stomach has a ton of acid that can help break pathogens down, but hepatitis A is acid stable so it can easily go through all of that acid. We have the hippo hanging out on a rock in the middle of a bubbling and blistering acid pool. They're stable on this rock, protected from the acid, for acid stable. Next, we're going to draw in the statue of David over here because like most other picornaviruses, Hep A is a nakey virus. Finally, we're drawing these monstrous hippo poops to remind you that the fecal oral route is the main route of transmission, either via person to person contact, like during sex or caring for someone with hepatitis A, or via consumption of contaminated food or water. People who inject drugs are also at an increased risk of being infected with hepatitis A.